Greetings fellow Earthlings, AGK here with a little IC2, 10 things you probably don't know about IC2. Um, so I've been kind of playing on a bunch of servers and playing around and just kind of testing stuff and there's a lot of cool stuff part of IC2, or part of IC2, and a lot of people actually don't know about it and a few are very useful. So we all know the annoying Minecraft music in which I'm going to be turning off right now. There we go. So, um... We all know about the I, the come on break there we go the quantum suit with the leggings and the boots and how you can super jump with it by pressing the boost key which let's go over the keys right now um, the boost key is left control default but there's the alt the boost the mode switch the side inventory which we will not be using because I have not found what that means and if you find it or know it please leave a comment so. The hub expand key will be also be using that. Those are from other mods installed. So just know that when I call a key by like the the um, M key or the mode key, I mean the mode key. If I say the M key, if I see, if I say the mode key, I am pressing M. If I say M, I mean the mode. That's the kind of thing. You can kind of pause the video here and change it to this. I'm pretty sure this is the defaults. So yeah. So we all know about the um, super sprint with the boots, or is it boots? Oh, uh, the super sprint with the leggings and the jump with the uh, boots. Yeah, the jump with the boots and the super sprint with the leggings. And they're nice and they're useful, but what happens if you want to get a very large distance not horizontally, but up. You're going to have to go make yourself a jetpack, right? So you can just put this on and fly up there. You'd think so, right? Nope. You can make a quantum body armor. And I'm just going to put this back. Let's put that up there and let's get ourselves a quantum body armor. Put that on and most people think it's just used for extra um, damage, like it absorbs everything, but also if you hold the boost key and press M at the same time, you can get your quantum jetpack. A lot of people don't know about this and it's very awesome. It can go up to like 200 blocks, blocks I believe, in height. I'm not going to go all the way up there because reasons. So yeah, that's the um, quantum body armor and it's pretty awesome. Uh, you can also press the space bar or the up bar or going up and press M and get the hover mode because hover mode is awesome. So yeah, there you go. Take this off and I will fall. There we go. Um, next up, put that on, it doesn't really matter. Next up is our helmet. But first we're going to do our night vision, which it probably give me blindness right now because... I'm not sure why it's not giving me blindness. Most time it does. But if we set it tonight. Hmm. Must not be dark enough for. I'm in the experimental, so this might be broken. But last I checked, it's. This will uh, give you bl uh, blindness in the night and. Er, blindness in the daytime and. Uh, night vision at night and I'm not sure why that's not working but what if you want night vision on your quantum suit well let's get our quantum helmet clicked enough times there we go and if we press the mode uh, option uh, there we go there we go it is your alt key plus M and it'll enable or disable night vision so there you go you have your night vision with quantum suit i will give you night, night vision it's pretty awesome um, this today. Yeah, there we go. So now it's daytime and it's giving me blindness. I don't know why the night vision goggles are not working. It must be a bug in the experimental version. Um, again, like I just said, I am in the experimental version. So let's turn this off. Alt M, Alt, and the mode switch key. And this should give out. There we go. So there we go. That is the night vision quantum suit thing. And now another pretty awesome thing. And you might be wondering about what this. Um, Hub expand key is well. Press X while you're you have either a nano suit or um, quantum suit. Uh, option X. 
there we go, uh, Alt X, my bad, Alt X will show you this little cool GUI thing, and it, it gets better. So first, I just want to show off that um, if you have, it'll show what you have going on, so if I press Alt M, it shows up here that I have my night vision and jetpack on right now. And if I turned my jetpack off, it jetpack is removed. If I turn night vision off, and that is all removed. It's pretty awesome. Also, it shows what's in your hand. If it's a special item, so let's get our a mining laser. And turn on extended. So we press Alt X again. And now HUD extended is shown. And it will show what's in your hand. So I have a mining laser. It has... 2 million EU, it's power tier 3, and it's mode mining, and that's just off of this little thing here. So if we go for like, um, let's look for a book, enchant, oh, it will not let, no, it will not. What else does NBT data? Um, potions. Or not, uh, it has in add information. So this shows that, well, that's a little weird gra graphical glitch, but um, it's enchanted, it has invisibility for 8. Or there's a... Let's just go through here. Does this, this will say spider, so it says spider. It just shows the tag that's underneath it. So if you have an enchanted book, it will have that. If you have a diamond sword with... Enchanted diamond... I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, maybe that's a different mod. I think it's a different mod. Never mind that. Let's press X. This is an NEI thing, so yeah. I'm just going to add a few things. Feather falling under my sword, because that makes sense. Let's get some smite in here. Efficiency. I'm just doing random. These are by far not very good ones. They're not very good. But it shows all the enchantments on that. It, it just shows this little tag. And it's pretty awesome. Um, for all you mod developers out there, this is configurable, where you, you can have custom messages in there. Um, it's under the IC2 API on HUD, I believe. Um, if it is wanted, I will show a, or I'll make a tutorial on that. But yeah, enough missing, or using time with that. It also works with the nano suit helmet. So yeah, let's turn that off. Alt X again, and gets rid of the HUD. There are the three different parts. So now uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Do, 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 and there we go. So now let's do these two. And this is a rubber sheet. And I'll show you what it does. This is the crafting recipe. If you put some metal boots on, any kind of metal, quantum suit works, but yeah, have a magnetizer. This is a magnetizer, um, energy going into it, and iron poles going up. You can shoot right up it. It's pretty awesome. You can make a little dancing kind of thing, and if you balance yourself you can get it to the top and yeah but also there's this rubber sheet and a little rubber it's bouncy right let's go for it bouncy it's like a little trampoline the way you do that is you get your rubber sheet and you make sure that there is a one block air underneath here and you can jump onto it it's pretty awesome if I get rid of this I can show that um, this is the rubber sheet and if you just place it onto another onto a side and there you go it's pretty cool so that's two things the magnetizer jumping up and down and the let's see if I can make it there we go and the trampoline rubber sheet it's pretty awesome and it's raining let's get rid of, that, rid of that rain cool so now we're gonna do um, the rubber tree saplings now we all know about rubber trees they're pretty cool and fancy and stuff like that so let's grow one Whoa, that was fast. So we have, uh, let's just get rid of all these leaves like normally do. You can use a chain saw and go much faster. And it also dropped leaf blocks, but it's okay. It's just much faster. And I'm chopping down wood. I did not mean to do that, but it doesn't matter. So when the tree is grown and I'm flying up again, and I almost died there. Um, when the tree's all grown, it doesn't need to be stay there. It doesn't need, um, I just placed a block there. It doesn't need leaves at the top. It doesn't, it's just, it needs the wood there. And if you look around, that does not have any. 
that does not have any. I'm just looking to see if we can find one. No. Um, let's just go into this one. The tree tap. Let's get a tree tap. And if we tap that, you can see that this texture is different. It has a little square right there versus one like over here where it doesn't have a square. This side has a square right there. This does not. That means this side can be turned into sticky resin. And if I leave it here, it will reappear. Now down here, this one, that one, that one, and that one don't have any. So this is basically a useless block and cannot be used. So let's get rid of it. And a lot of people think that once you break this tree, it can't create rubber anymore. But because this little ink blot thingy there is still there, it is very much still usable. And if you have like a um, a portal gun and you can move blocks, you can move this block and turn it into a like a wall of stuff that has that little thing and you will have a wall of only sticky resin producing pieces of wood. And yeah. Um, so once the block is made, it's static, it's not going to change, it's going to continue to be a sticky resin producing tree. And even if you break down every other block around it. It's kind of a, a cool thing about rubber trees. So we'll come back and we'll see that that still turns into a rubber tree, or a rubber sticky resin thing. So next we have the great and confusing um, IC2 RG, uh, uh, plants, agriculture, I can't ever pronounce that one word. I can't pronounce very many words. And yeah, I just put a bunch of plants there. I'm not going to do going to do a tutorial on how the plants work because they're confusing and even I don't know it. But just so you know, uh, that exists. So first of all, we're going to do the taro wart, which is something that you can produce out of the plants is by crossbreeding and stuff like that. So let's put the splash potion of poison. So now I'm poisoned. If I eat a taro wart, it acts just like milk and the fact that it is not doing what it should. Oh wait, my bad, wrong one. It's, eh, I'll be poisoned for a while. Um, first you have to make some booze. So we're gonna take the booze barrel, which is not named at the moment, but let's get a recipe. It's just like that, rubber wood and wood planks. You can also change, yeah. So we're gonna take this booze barrel and click on this, okay. I am sorry about this, I'm just gonna get some milk. I thought this was a different thing, but I forgot it cures other types of poison. So we're gonna take this booze barrel, which is not named right now, I'm pretty sure that's a bug, but that that recipe, and uh, just click on a, um, a wooden, oh, what is this called? Scaffold, yes, wooden scaffold. You click on it, it turns it into a booze barrel. It's pretty awesome. Now inside of here, we are going to put a special amount of wheat, hops, and water inside of this. And uh, this all is all changed, like there's special, the stuff you put in changes what will come out. And there's special um, lists of stuff, just look on the IC2 wiki and it'll tell you the recipes that make this. In this case, I'm gonna use 27 water, I'm gonna use 12 wheat, and I'm gonna use eight hops, and the fermentation time is going to be nothing. So uh, right away, I'm gonna put a tree tap on this, and it will turn into a tree tapped or a, a booze barrel with a faucet type thing. Now I'm going to get a coffee cup. That's cold coffee, not what I wanted. It's a stone. Come on, I lost my mouse. Where'd it go? There it goes. Okay, a stone mug. Take the stone mug, click on this, and we have a light brew. And it looks like I accidentally just drank, drank it. Drink, drink it and I have mining fatigue for that long. Doesn't sound good, let's get some more. Yay, and more. And more. And sooner or later, we will get very, very drunk. Sooner or later. This is only a light blue brew, so it must not be that problematic. Okay then, I guess light 
blue. It's good. But if you have any nausea or any of the bad side effects that you don't like about being drunk, eat a terror wart and all the bad stuff will go away. And you're left with your strength or whatever your good potion is there. So yeah, that's the booze in IC2. It's pretty... Yeah, I'm just going to finish it there. <laughs> so next we're going to go into our construction foam. And it's pretty awesome. Um, you can let's get a glass fiber cable. If we place fiber cables or any kind of cables, I believe, but I'm just going to do cable, and we put a construction foam. Construction foam can come on, cover it up. It can't shift. My bad. And it will cover up the wire. And I shift again. There we go. Um, and it it works. It still is not a solid block, but you can change that by either waiting for it to dry. And this is starting to get annoying. Turn it day. Um, a solid block. You can turn it to a solid block by either hitting it with sand or waiting for it to shift again. No shifting. Just click. There we go. Now it turns into a solid block. And I'm going to wait for these two to harden themselves because after time it should harden. So the fancy part is if you take an, um, this thing, an obscure rator, and you shift click on a texture, let's go and find, what is a good texture? Um, I'm going to go with the copper block. Shift click on this, and you will see it takes a little energy, but it also like manages or saves that drawing. And if I click on the block, it will set that texture as that. As you can see, it's still not a complete texture, so if I shift click on, I'm going to work on that, not has to be a full block, dirt and I click on the side, it will create dirt. Um, oopsie, I didn't press that with sand, it just turned by time. Um, there are weird ones where, like, the top of grass is a textured... Oh, it fixed that. Never mind. In older versions, it will show a black and white version of it. But I guess in the experimental, it fixed that. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's like it was never there. Um, you can also just use construction foam as blocks, and you don't have to worry about having a wire in there. You can just use it that way. Pretty fancy. You sand to dry fast. Now, the one of the coolest things, but usually banned on servers, is the terraformer. And the coolest one, let's see, do I have it in here? Mushroom. Let's take mushroom. We'll plug it into here. It uses it shows that texture on the side, and you can see it's starting to generate this biome around it as a mushroom biome. You can, all these different ones do stuff, so empty just kind of clears a bunch of space. Cultivation makes it rain a lot, it's good for farms. Irrigation, it, they do different things. Just look it up. Uh, chilling makes it cold and desertification makes it all like sandy and makes stuff burn and it's very bad. But yeah, it does use a quite a good amount of uh, electricity. I have a bunch of, of a different mod, a bunch of solar from a different mod. And it will just start making a mushroom biome for you. And so if you're looking to make your area or your void age or something a mushroom biome, put this in there, put a bunch of dirt on the ground, and it will start making a mushroom. And we'll come back in a little bit for to see what this turns into. It should start creating some really cool, big sculpture-type thingies. You'll see in a minute. Yeah. So the sec second thing is um, your sticky resin, which is pretty awesome. Um, if you take your sticky resin, click on the ground, you will turn it into like a sticky pad type thing where it acts just like, um, soul sand. It's, it's sticky. Pretty fancy. If you have way too much sticky resin, you can make some pretty cool designs. I'm not doing anything in particular, I'm just placing stuff down. Make it even. So yeah. Pretty cool. Um, the second thing, or whatever number I'm on now, is the mining laser. And obviously you can just shoot things and it will start fires and bad things like that, but you can also press M and change it to different modes. And the coolest one, I think, is low focus, where it'll only break one block. It's a cool way of mining. It's very cost, or electrical efficient, is the, so it's at uh, 194-200, if I shoot one block, it should take 200, I believe. 100. So 194, 100. So it's very 
it doesn't take too much electricity versus the other modes like long range, which is super snipey and can get blocks from super far away and fancy stuff like that. So, yep. There's also horizontal, which if you're looking down and you look in this direction, it will shoot a horizontal beam, which is kind of straight from where you are. So let's look down at this block and it will shoot a horizontal beam that way versus like a superheat, which shoots down wherever you're looking. And superheat is kind of cool and it smelts any block that you see, except logs. I tried that before. It's on a blacklist for logs. But if we look for like sand, and we had some sand over here. And place a bunch of sand and you superheat it. It will turn into glass. And mining lasers go through glass. So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, what's next? Um, scaffolds. They're not in a box, so I have to spawn them in. But they're pretty cool. Scaffolds. Let's get both of these. Um, the scaffold wooden ones can require a base, but you can put it out by three blocks. So it can only go three out, two out, three, three total, two out. Versus the um, iron scaffold, which can go five, I believe. And you may be asking, wait, Minecraft blo uh, blocks float already. Why would you care about this kind of thing? Well, glad you asked. If you get rid of this for a second, there we go. Take a block and you have a bunch of them still in your inventory and you see one and it's nighttime, so let's turn this to daytime and you punch that block, it will put one on top of it. Punch a block, put another one top. So if I just repeatedly, repeatedly punch this, you can see it's draining from my inventory and it's making a pretty cool tall tower. So let's start going up. And this is a great way to like climb up a place to a, like if you're going to the far land, or not the far land, that's um, the, what is, some mod adds a really cool place, but the spawn is really high up in the air. If you find where that is and you just punch some blocks, you can make yourself a pretty cool ladder. So there you go. And I'm out now. So if I put, it works with iron scaffolds too. Oh, now I'm falling. Yeah. Works with my um, wooden ones as well. Nope, that's five block limit. Okay, there we go. I see it. It's making a pretty cool tie tower, and that's a great way to tower up. From that, that's pretty much what I have for you. Um, I don't think there's much else. There is the <laughs> pretty awesome. And it makes a, a really fancy, weird tower type thing of mushrooms. That's the terraformer. Thought that was pretty cool. And that's just about it for what I have to show you. Um, again, I am in the experimental versions of IC2 right now. But I'm, most of this I remember playing in the old tech it back in 1.2 pi. 1.2 point pi. That's what I meant to say. 1.2.5 versions of Minecraft, which was Tech It and that stuff. I remember playing all this stuff. It's pretty awesome. So I'm pretty sure a lot of this is still in current um, or older versions of IC2. And yeah, I think this video is plenty long. And thanks for watching.